Hello YouTubers So here's another video uh, I would like to share to you So what we have here is uh, Test equipments like the multi-tester So this tester is connected um, To test the amperage set to 10 amps maximum And this one is set to uh, test the voltage of our circuit so what do we have here so we have uh, a circuit a battery underneath the circuit we have a fast recovery high amperage diode over there since I have a alternating power uh, so I have to rectify it so that it could um, accept as a DC current so and we have here the circuit of the dual tip okay so this is all about a dual tip that could charge from one 12 volt battery to another 12 volt battery so that means that you can charge any batteries from the same uh, voltage of battery like this one the motor battery and from a bigger battery down so that's a bigger one and that's where our power source came from and since it is charging it has an alternating current or pulses so I have to rectify it again here using this diode so that it could accept a uh, clean DC towards our circuit and towards the battery so the components of a dual tip is over here this one is a common NPN transistor then it has or it should have two windings here so this mark and this mark must be on the same start so it should be opposite in connection but it should it is the same starting so here's a resistor and the source battery so now I'm thinking of connecting a fast recovery diode over here the collector and making it as a terminal to make another connection open circuit having the positive to charge another battery here so that's my goal here so this circuit is what I'm talking about so this is an NPN transistor uh, to N3055 and this one is represents the coil which have the first winding the center tap over there in the middle and the third one or the end of the winding so it has a capacitor over its resistor so can you see so I changed the circuit having a capacitor in between the resistor so over here the resistor has no capacitor but I put 104 capacitor over here non-polarized to boost the efficiency of these windings and and becomes the base and pushes this coil a higher voltage from the source so almost times two of the source so for example you have here 12 volts then the voltage here will become 20 to 24 volts and it could charge another 12 volt battery over here so instead of the lead light so you can also place the lead light here with the resistor since it's higher than 12 volts and you'd extend it connect a rect uh, diode here fast recovery diode and charge another battery so here we will uh, test the circuit so over here we have no 
readings yet in the amperage since I'm not connecting it to the positive side. So let's connect it and here's the circuit connected to the positive rail so it draw 0 0.01 amp or it means 10 milliamps so it just draw 10 milliamps at 22 point something volts um, I think it's pulsing the voltage to a higher higher voltage so it's constantly changing then this circuit now is working and it's just pulling 10 milliamps of power from the source bigger source battery it's because we're not yet connecting the output of this circuit to the battery down so now we will going to connect this lead positive lead towards the positive post of or terminal of the battery so as we connect it we can see that the voltage here changes from 22 volts to 13 volts same as the voltage of the battery which is 12 volts so there you can see 12.813 so it's changing and it's drawing power now so it draws 1.8 a uh, point 18 I mean point 18 amps so that means 180 or 170 this one 170 milliamps of power and it's changing or I mean charging the battery to the smaller battery but they are the same battery the 12 volt 7 AH battery and larger 12 volt 50 AH battery so this is the use of this circuit to charge the same batteries but not the same in size for example this is a 12 but smaller in size smaller capabilities and you can have this charger so it's not heating since it's not drawing much current so it's just drawing 1.5 so to measure exactly the voltage of the battery so we have to remove this lead and connect it directly to the post of the battery over here so as we connect it we could have a reading of 13.2 okay maximum 13.2 so it's charging up to 13.2 so it's it's charging okay it's drawing power and it's charging to 13.2 so if we try to remove the connections to the battery so So we can see now that the battery is thirteen thirteen volts over there. So the circuit doesn't draw any power since I've disconnected the connections from the circuit to the small battery. So if you want this video or if you like this video, please thumbs up and if you want to subscribe please subscribe to my channel then leave a comment any comments you want um, anything you want to ask so uh, I will try my best to answer you what you're asking for so that's it and that's the Joe Thief charger